What's up YouTube, RJ here. Um, I have the next part to the technical analysis series and today it's, I'm going to be talking about support and resistance. Okay, so support and resistance is essential um, if you want to do technical analysis. Um, it can be found on any time frame. Um, and also, um, you know, it, it's just very important. Um, I'm going to explain why in just a minute. Um, but first, let's talk about what it is. So, what is a support? A support is a place on the chart where a stock has had trouble going below. And a resistance is a place on a chart where a stock has had trouble going above. Today, we're going to be looking at Apple. And we're going to chart this up. Um, so, first of all, you want to always start off on a large time frame when plotting your supports and resistances. The reason is, is because you want to see what's been going on, you know, on a larger view. Okay, so first thing you want to do is plot your high point and your low point. Um, so my high point here for Apple is at 356.56 and my low point is down here at 142. Now, you can plot this point, um, but, you know, I don't think Apple's going that low anytime soon. So, I'm just going to start here at this 170. Okay? So, I have my high point and low point, And now, what I'm going to do, you can go left to right. You go up, down, down, or up. You know, you just want to plot places where it starts at trouble going below um, or above. So, you can see here, had trouble going above right here. I plot my line, you can see. You want to make sure that it's touching your candle at least two times. Alright, it needs to touch at least twice and it needs to be touching either the wick or the end of the body. If you don't know what a wick is, a wick is the line. So it needs to be touching either the bottom of your line here or if it doesn't have any lines, it needs to touch the top of your candle. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it, you know, you want it as close as you can get. I'm just going here and just plot in places where stock, you know, Apple has had trouble going above or below. Um, something else I need to mention is a stock can add as both a support and a resistance. Um, so a good example of that is my line here at 190.25. You can see right here, it was a resistance. It couldn't get above it at this point. But as it got above it, um, over here, it's adding as a support. Right here, right here, right here, right here. So um, your lines can act as a support and a resistance. Okay, um, so I'm just going to continue to move up and see if I can find any more places here. Um, and once again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it definitely needs to be reasonable. It needs to touch at least twice. Okay, so I'm just going up um, here. Just trying to find as many places as I can. Okay. Alright. Now I have made all my lines for my um, large time frame. Now this is what I'm going to call my major supports and resistances. Okay. I like to break it down into two categories. A major support and resistance and a minor support and resistance. The major supports and resistances are going to be the ones found on a um, one year of uh, a... Um, three year one week chart a daily chart and a four hour chart okay so the reason that I'm going to call these major supports and resistances are because um, when you find the larger the time frame you find a support or resistance on the stronger it is okay so if I find a support or resistance on a one minute time frame it is nothing compared to a support or resistance that I find on a um, one week time frame such as this one Okay, so, and you got to just think about it because something built their support or resistance within minutes, whereas this is a whole week. So, if I just look here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 weeks right here where it couldn't get above 228.17. So, almost three months where it couldn't get above this point compared to a few minutes where it couldn't get above or below um, something on that minute time frame. So, um... You always want to start off by plotting your major supports and resistances. Okay, so since I've done all of my um, supports and resistances on the um, weekly chart, I'm going to come down to the daily. 
And something you should notice is that my points as I move down, they're still hitting at the places where I charted. So, you know, we look here, my points are still hitting, you know, at the uh, points that I applied it on the weekly chart. Okay, so that just, as long as it's hitting, you know, at least twice, it's valid. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's touching because that lets you know that you applied it accurately. All right, um, so now that we've done that, all we're doing now is we're just finding more supports and resistances. And you want to find these um, every time frame as you go down. I'm just going to go down to the hour chart. Okay, and the reason you want to keep going down, um, like I said, you just want to find places you may have missed. Okay, so I'm going to apply these and I'll be right back. Alright, um, I think I have got them all on my daily chart. Okay, you can see here, you know, I have multiple places where, like I said, um, it's acting as a support. Um, in one area and it has a resistance in another. So a great point right here is my line here at 285.92. You see right here, it's acting as a resistance right here. When it got above, it was acting as a, as a support here. And it came back down, acting as a support here. Then as it went below and tried to come back up, it was acting as a resistance again. So just keep in mind that, you know, these lines can act as supports and resistances. Okay. And um, the reason that the reason that these lines work, um, it's not magic. Um, well, it kind of is. These are psychological um, lines here, okay. And the reason that they work is because you have buyers and you have sellers um, in the stock market. That's what makes the price go up and down. So at these points here, around these areas, are places where people that with a lot of buy orders and a lot of sell orders are sitting. So at every single one of these places, you have people just waiting for the price to get here and they're putting their orders in at these levels so what happens is you're just waiting to see if the buyers or the sellers win if the price goes above your support resistance the buyers won if it goes below the sellers won so that's what's happening at every single one of these places that's why it's hitting these points um it seems like magic where it's hitting these points and it's just bouncing off of them or you know yeah it's just bouncing off of them perfectly is because it's orders set at these exact levels. You're just seeing who's gonna win, the buyers or the sellers. All right. Um, so that is my daily chart. I'm now gonna move down to my four-hour chart. Okay. And you can see here, as I, the same thing with my daily chart. I moved down a whole time frame, and you can see my lines are still, still very, you know, very accurate, very accurate here. Um, where my supports and resistances are. Um, so you, you want to always make sure that your lines are accurate. And if they're not, you know, you just adjust them. Um, so as I move down my time frame, I'm going to plot more supports and resistances. And I'll be right back. Alright. I have them plotted for my four hour chart now. Um, so I added, you know, a few more. You can see here, you know, they're hitting. They're hitting nicely off of my lines right here. Um, and I have a lot of levels. Okay, so why do I need all these levels? Um, you need these levels because when you get into a stock, um, whether it be with options, um, you know, options, you can make money off the stock going up or down, or whether you're just buying shares, you need to know, okay, how far can this stock go before it starts having a little bit of trouble? Um, so if you get into, let's say if you would have got into Apple right here at 317, and you would have noticed for a long time, you know, um, well, let's say you, yeah, let's say you would have gotten into th Apple at 317, you would have got into it right here. And you would wonder, okay, why was not Apple not going above um, 320? Well, let's look back at our chart here. You see it, there's a resistance here at this 320 level. So that's why. Okay. Um. So, you know, that's why you want to know. You want to know where is my stock going next. All right. So, also take note when a stock goes above a resistance, it goes to the next resistance. Or when a stock drops below a support, it is likely to go to the next support. All right. Um, so, keep that in mind as well. Now, we're going to go down to our one hour chart. And as you can see, again, we have our high point here, 356, um, 95. 
and our lines are still hitting nicely so you always want to make sure you know your lines are hitting nicely and you're just going to come down here on this time frame and we're going to plot them again so i'll be right back after i plot some more supports and resistances um, i have them plotted for my one hour chart now and this is as far as i'm going to go but you can you can keep going down in your time frames okay um you could keep on going down if you want to go to the 30 minute chart you could do that um you can see here my lines are still you know they're still valid you may want to make sure that they're hitting um, your lines as you go down your time frames all right and the lower the time frame you go the more lines you have um, see if I go back to my weekly chart now it's just you know it's a lot of lines you can't tell what's going on but as I break it down you know I come to the one hour chart you see I can literally use my support and resistance as sort of a guide um, when I'm trading um, my stocks here okay so you know um, you can really just use that as a guide once you learn where to plot the points. You can tell where a stock is likely to go. All right. So um, that is what I had for support and resistance. Um, it's very important if you want to do technical analysis, which is just using charts to um, make your decisions. Um, so that will be it for this video. Um, please leave a comment, um, like, subscribe. Um, if you want to see more of this, in the future if you would like to see more videos like this in the future please like leave a comment and subscribe